Hi everybody, this is Ellie. Thanks so much for joining me today for a December setup in my B6 Wonderland 222. It is hard to believe that it is already coming up on December. That will make a full year for me in this planner and it has been so wonderful to use. I'm really excited to finish out the year with December setup and then if you saw my last video, you'll know that I am moving to an A5 take a note for 2023. As usual, we'll get started with our stamping. I am really going to miss these spreads, having this dedicated space for reflection and look ahead, but I am excited to try something new for 2023. And by try something new, I just mean set it up in a different format. I do think the structure of it will stay pretty similar because it's been working so well for me. At the time of filming this, it's November 26th. I haven't actually started my 2023 setups yet. I've just ordered a few things from Planner Monkey Co. that I need to start the setup itself. So I grabbed some tabs, some monthly scripts, and I think some birthday icons. And I should have everything else that I need. Once those get here, I'm excited to dive in. I don't do a ton of decoration, but I'll definitely do some. I think I'm going to pull some of Brandy Kincaid's work that I have, maybe some of her vinyls, or she also sends, I don't know if you'd call them journaling cards, but she'll send cards with her words and her art that are always really lovely and speak to me, so. I'm really looking forward to that part. Actually, Brandy's work is what I have here. Well, this is her card. These are some Audrey Okea stickers. And this is also Brandy's as well. So we will see. It'll likely be a fairly minimal setup, but the process is always so much fun for me. There it is, my last stamping on these pages for 2022. I expect I will use the stamps again as part of my setup next year. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I really, I just love the look of these stamps. So we will see, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them make a reappearance. While this dries, let me show you my monthly color and washi palette for December. I chose this green. This is Tombow's 312 or Holly Green. It's a little more blue leaning than I thought I would go, but it just felt both fresh and seasonal, and this is the one I was drawn to. I'm going to use this Zebra Sarasa from one of the vintage sets. It's a green, but it leans much more cool, so it's not an exact match, but I think they go really nicely together. And then I ended up choosing a very small, for me, washi palette this month. I do have some other Christmas and winter themed tapes, but they were all a much heavier green. And like I said, this is just what I was feeling this month. These two here are from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is from Paper Plus Cloth. I don't remember the maker at the moment. This is old from Etsy, Simply Gilded, and this is from Amazon. This one just sits here. It's just washi tape I use whenever I need to actually tape something. So I will go ahead and start writing in the prompts. I remember really not enjoying the spread when it was done. It's just, the spacing is really weird to me. So I'll write the prompts the same, but I'll probably do something a little different when I actually fill it in. I'm also trying to get better at using some blotting paper when I'm writing because pens skip so much for me. And I really think it's because of the way I hold my pen and the way that my hand sits on the paper. Any oils on my hands transfer and impact the writing process. Now the look ahead questions. And for this last question, I've talked about it a few times, but it's very repetitive for me. How do I want to feel at the end of the month? I think maybe I'll put in words, words to take into next month. Yeah. Just, just probably some sort of affirmation or motivation or something. I'll squish it here. <laughs> uh, just, just made it. Okay, so let's let this dry and we will move on to December's calendar. 
let's get the functional stuff put in first and then I will go ahead and we can decorate. So let me just grab my stickers. Oh, almost running out of birthdays. Will I make it? I think so. Okay, so yeah, I really do think I'm going to go ahead and put most birthdays in at the beginning of my setup for 2023. Oops. Okay, well, I stuck down some fluff there. That's okay. Birthday on the 10th and on the 14th. Is that everybody? See, this is why it'll be easier for me just to do it at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I think so, which there we have it, one left. Let me just write this appointment in pen. And I think I'll go through and just highlight Christmas Day and New Year's Day here. See, that's a beautiful green, isn't it? You can see they're definitely not the same, but they're both cool toned. So to me, it was similar enough. Okay, and now let's find our Christmas decorations. So I am going to go Christmas themed, probably definitely winter themed. We do celebrate Christmas and I have a lot of Christmas stickers. So our last script from Planner Monkey Co here. And okay, let's grab this. I think I've shown this on Instagram before, but it's just one of the mesh pouches I always use. And I made folders by just laminating journaling cards and or cardstock. This was an idea from Rachel Beauty Plans, so I'll link her channel below. I think she has a specific video actually on it, so I will link that video below. But anyways, basically you just, in this case it was scrapbook paper actually, I cut to size and then you leave a space in between so it makes the fold much easier and there you go. So I did a seasonal one where I have, well, all my winter stickers together, I've just pulled those out. And in a similar vein, this is the smaller pouch. First one was A5, this one is B6. I have some die cuts in here. And for these ones, I just used envelopes and I cut the top flap. It's much easier for me, I've realized, to pull out the whole envelope and then dump it on the table than just to have to reach in and pull out all the little bits. So again, I've just labeled them according to my own categories. This one is Seasonal Audrey Okea. Before last Christmas, I ordered a ton of Audrey Okea seasonal stickers, so I'm really excited to use those again. I just love her style. So let's take all of these, yeah, and leave them out. I don't think I will use any of these right now, but I will leave them out with my regular journaling stuff so that I can use them this season. Well, this is a lot. Okay, let's make a mess, guys. So, oh, so pretty. They're all so pretty. That's the thing. How to choose, how to choose. Oh, my seasonal one also included some Halloween. Would have been helpful if I remembered that before. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh boy. Okay, just take a quick look at what's here. Tree's always lovely. I actually really like that tree. Oh, see, but it's nice to have a globe too. I think those are my favorites so far. Let's see what's in these festive sticker flakes. Oh, okay, I, I see. I put this the straight holiday ones in here, whereas these are more winter. See, I got these later last year, so I didn't have a chance to really use them. Hmm. Oh, these are also cute. Okay, that'll be too big. So the die cuts, are, I think, are usually of some or most of the stickers that are on these sheets themselves, just different sizes. Oh, this is cute for the letters to Santa. Oh, I like that one too. Okay, guys, I this is this is gonna be very hard, I think. That's pretty. Oh, look at these ginger, look at this gingerbread couple. 
Oh, that's, I like that too. So none of these greens quite goes with my holly green, but that's fine. I'm not going to be precious about it. trying to kind of narrow it down a little bit here. So these, I think I can put away because I have the die cut. So I'll choose from the die cuts. And again, I'm going to keep all of these out for, I don't know if it'll make it into my planner, but definitely, hopefully into my journal in some pages. I have been so inconsistent with my journal lately, guys, but that's okay. Anything I get to is a joy to have there. So I think I'll save these more for January, the kind of blue winter. And these, these aren't even necessarily winter themed. These are called the Bear Cafe stickers. I love these so much. So I won't use those. And these are winter neutrals. Ooh, I love the winter neutrals. But maybe what I'll do is if I decorate throughout the weeks at all, I'll use the winter neutrals just because the colors aren't as strong when it comes to my greens. I really like my weekly pages to be pretty minimal and consistent. So I'll save these. I'm going to put these ones that I'm not using for sure back here, these seasonal die cuts. Okay, so we've started narrowing it down a little bit. Let me also get in here and see if there are any words. Some of these have it, so okay, let's let's just see. So I've got those neutral color ones. Ooh, this, see, this is a nice color match for a background that might tie it together. Hope you guys like seeing this part of the process. <laughs> I didn't plan anything really before I got on camera today, so. We're doing some of this in real time. Of course, I always speed things up so as not to keep you guys with me here for ages. Okay, so now let's play around a little bit. Okay, nope, these are too big. Also, no. Maybe that's a maybe. I like that. Also, very pretty. Not for here. Not for here. Maybe. Did I keep two, two of these ones out? Yep, just showing how just showing how much I love them. Okay, here we go. Narrowing it down. Narrowing it down. So let's see. Okay, let me try and decide what would I'd want to go under it first. Also, oh here's my December script. Okay, I'm going to go with this tree, I believe. So I think I might put it over to the side like this. I don't know if it needs something to anchor it. I might put down actually this color and I think I want this one. And I took a deep breath. Yes. Okay, so let's put December on first this time. Usually I do this after the stickers, but because I want December centered and the tree off center, I think this will be easier. We'll find out.
isn't it so satisfying to finish a sheet? I still have my discount code also for Planner Monkey Co. It's in the description box below. Okay, so yes to having this off center. Now that I'm saying this though, and I took a, I think I'll be able to stagger it down, but I will need to white it out because I remember trying to do this before without wiping it out. And because these are washi stickers, it was very hard to actually read. So let me just do that. There we go. So I think I said I like this one. Also a washi flake. This one I can see I've been has been peeled up and put down a few times. That's okay. I'm just gonna go for it guys. And hopefully I don't have to peel this up. I'm probably going to have to trim this a little bit. That's okay. I want it off centered, so. Trim this now before I forget. That's really cute as is. And I took a deep breath. Let's make sure, oh yeah, that's lovely. Okay, we'll get these out and let's see how this goes. So we'll go and I. I like the idea of having these all separate even though it's probably gonna be a little bit of a pain. What's on this? Oh, the little, the little tree that I cut off, stuck to my scissors and throwing me off. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is getting fiddly. I do not have the steady hands of a surgeon, guys. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And I think I want it to be kind of, like, you know, do I? I say that, but <laughs> I tend to like things straight. Let's just try it. I took. Nope, I do not like that at all. Okay. Idea, nice. Quote, beautiful. It's just not me. And it's not how I want to feel right now. Okay, so what am I going to do? Let me stick these here for now. Just because it's easier than squashing them back. That's okay. It doesn't work. We'll just pivot. Do any of these have the word joy in it, even if it's not part of the quote? They do not. How do I want to do this? The other word I'd be happy to have here is love. They have it here. Love your solitude. I do think I, I'm going to try with this color though. I have considered getting some more like the Tim Holtz quotes or words. I'm only mentioning his brand because it's the only one I know of. I think there's a few others, but I haven't decided yet if I would use them enough. Right now, though, I'm wishing I had some. Okay, I like that. And I think this was the sticker set. Yeah, let me see if there's any... I guess it doesn't just have to be for this one, but she usually has little cutouts of some of the sparkles and snowflakes. Some of these are kind of large, but that's okay. Let's go with some of these ones. I'll pull from the color of the star here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's pivot again. What I really want are some of these little bits. I'm just going to cut them out like this. Yeah, I think that'll probably be the most effective way to get what I want. Let me just see which ones I want to cut out. Oh, here was the, okay. Anyways, that would have been too big. It's fine. This is just, I don't know what's up today. Usually this is a much easier process. I think I just got way too excited about all of these Audrey Okea things that I absolutely love that I'm overthinking it. Let's just draw in our own little sparkles and move on. Let me just want to see what color is closer here. Oh, that's pretty good. Also good, let's try the lighter one first. 
can't even see it. Oh boy. Had to go with the darker one. It's fine. Let's step back. That looks okay. That's it's nice. It's soft. It's winter Christmas theme. I'm happy and I am going to flip that page again. Okay, let me get rid of a little bit of this mess. I'm going to go ahead and fill out my reflect spread for November. So, okay, how do I want to fill this out now? Remember saying that I did not like it. I think I'm going to just write underneath and see how that goes. I won't bother writing beside it at all. I have started reading some Christmas romances on my Kindle. What have I been watching lately? Oh, my mom and I watched Merry Happy Whatever on Netflix. It's from a few years ago. Listening to, I have a move playlist, which only has four, four songs on it right now. So I'm not moving very much, but it is fun. Okay, I'm gonna put creating space for myself, planning my 2023 setups, needing to go to sleep earlier. What do I want? I like a relaxed holiday season. Sometimes it can get so hectic. I'm just gonna put time all together here. I think I might take out not loving next year. We'll see. I'm gonna put seasonal colds here because that has been going through the household. I'm gonna put wishing for a sunny winter. We usually get, well, when it's the sunniest, it's when it's really cold. So I don't know if I should be wishing for that, but it's already inked in guys. I've been trying to create more consistent YouTube videos. I think it's been going pretty well. I aim for one a week. Truthfully, I, I, I aim for one on Friday mornings, but that, that part has not been consistent. So once a week, not too bad. Instagram though is another story. Hopefully once I get kind of my YouTube habits down, I can try to be a little more consistent on Instagram too. I'm going to put inspired by planner friends and planner chats. Yeah, I do like how much cleaner that looks. I don't know if I love it. If I was doing it next month, I'd probably keep playing around with it. But in comparison to this mess from last month, yes, I, I do really enjoy that. Okay, what would make this month fun? Decorating for Christmas. Yes, we have not done that here yet. Time with family. And I'm going to put enjoying my setups. I don't want to feel rushed or pressured Enjoying my, I'm gonna put setup process. Setup processes, maybe because I'll be setting up more than one. What would make this month satisfying? I'm going to continue putting learning. Procreate, it's going very slowly, but I have been playing around a little bit more. Continue working on my sleep routine and I want to basically say I don't want to be rushing around and procrastinating getting ready for Christmas because I have been a Christmas Eve shopper before and it is not that fun. So I just don't know how I want to write that. Maybe being prepared and relaxed <laughs> for the season. Those are some lofty goals, but I can work towards it. And words to take into next month. What do I want to remind myself? Actually, you know what? I still have these Feel the Glow affirmation cards. Last year I was pulling one every day to just write out and reflect on and I haven't done it in a long time. So let's pull one and see if it feels right. I'll link these below. I'm not sure if they're still being sold, but these are absolutely beautiful. I let go of the safe and familiar and allow new exciting things to come into my life. Yep, that is perfect. So let's write that out. I think I might play around with the lettering anyways, just to have fun with it. Oh, that was fun. 
I actually really, really like this. Maybe this is a practice that I will carry forward into next year. I am not great about doing it daily, but maybe if I can start with at least once a month, then I can carry on that way. I have those cards right at hand too in the card I have beside my desk. So easily accessible always means way more likely for me to actually do something. Okay, now one of my favorite parts every month is having my four memories here. So let's grab the sticker binder and figure out how we wanna do it. So my family and I have been working together. We repainted the basement and we have been reorganizing it, which means going through a lot of our belongings. So movies, games, all of that fun stuff. I don't know what sticker I could possibly use for that. I wonder if there's something in the adulting section. This kind of works, but it's it's more than just donating. It's something that we've all been doing together as well. I wonder if there's, I don't know, something. Oh, I'll have to remember I have some Christmas themed stickers in my samplers here. Okay, you know what? Maybe I will just go for the kind of, where's the, the little grouping that always reminds me of my family? <laughs> These ones here. I think that's probably the way to go. So I'll put that there and then I'll just write what we were doing. I was able to see Maria at a papery life again in November and that was just so lovely. We brought our planners, we chatted, we ate, we actually saw another planner out in the wild. He had a leather cover and a fountain pen and was settled just a few tables over from us so it was a very nice vibe. I am trying to get some stickers for like planner meetups or getting together with friends but for now maybe I'll use this one this is cute this is from once more with love I believe the only thing is it doesn't really show like that it was with another person okay maybe what I'll do is I have some samplers back here that show like this is really cute but it's it's too big for here but just you know, something that has two of us at least. This is super cute, although it was not a spa or a yoga day. <laughs> uh, oh look, how about this one? This is cute. We did have tea and coffee and food. Oh, I had an almond croissant, it was so good. Very cute. I also met up with a friend that I haven't seen in years, years and years. And we used to be incredibly close and, you know, time and life happened, but we were able to reconnect and it was incredibly lovely. Let's put this one in here for that. Oh, that's, hmm. Maybe I'll put it to the side here. So I have a little more space to write. And then I had some family functions and we all had some pretty delicious food. So it was an incredibly social month for me, actually. Usually I'm staying home and happy to do so, but that's just how this month worked out. And these two I will fill in off camera. And normally I'll just leave this or maybe put a little sticker or two, but I realized that this washi tape shows off to best effect when it's vertical. I think I'll put it in. It's washi tape. If I don't like it, I can always take it out. Just put it right at the edge for a little festive touch. Oh, that's pretty, really pretty. Okay, and then I can go ahead and plug these birthdays in. Since I only have one present left, I'll use some of these older stickers I have, I think. 
Well, I have some transparent ones, actually. I was thinking first I have all these cupcake ones, and then I also have these. I think I'll use the cupcake ones for today. So we'll put one. Oh, yes, this is still November. So we'll put one on the 10th. I'm going to put it over here, actually. So the candle sticks up over the header, not the word. And the 14th. And which day was the appointment here on the 15th at 4.30? So I have not done my power sheets yet for December, so I can't fill in any of the habits, but I will say that I have really liked how this is set up and then I haven't needed this space for anything, so I've actually been able to put down some of my washi tapes and stickers. So I think I will do a very, very similar setup for next month. I can swatch the green anyways, we can see how that looks together. Pretty, it's a beautiful color, even though my swatch isn't super even. I don't know why I fill it in like that. I never like it after because you can see the line, but this is a brand new Tombow, so I'm still breaking it in. Actually, speaking of, let's go over here and add it. Oh, look at this. We get to complete this together, guys. This is beautiful. I love, love, love this spread. And even though I did it last year, it was in a number of different bullet journals. So I don't think I ever ended up with one page complete. And that's on me. I mean, I could have gone back and did it, but this is nice. It is all here together. Oh, see, this was another green that I had debated between, but I just like this color this month. <laughs> so let's put that in 312. Yearly color palette, check. And let's see about getting some functional stickers that will go with this. Let's see what we, oh, right on top, I think might be the uh, it's a little bit more blue. I don't know though. That's pretty close guys. I'm going to leave that out. Well, that's blue. No, those are pretty much perfect, I think. Okay, so we've got these ones. And I will also check in here where I have some of these from what used to be Caffeine and Paper Co. and is now Sweet Freckle Designs. So those are definitely an option. See, that's much more green green. Uh, those are an option too, but... Honestly, I'm just going to keep this sheet out. Sage, there you go. So it is a green as well. And then, like I said, I'll probably keep some of the neutral holiday stickers here, even though I, I'm not sure I'll use them, but I will keep them out and easily accessible. Okay, so here is what I have out. Oh, I have loved, loved, loved using this, these tiny stickers in November. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye on the other colors they have. See, I'm not going to take these out yet because I still have to finish this week. So what I'll do is I'll just leave them here and I will put next month's behind it. I love that this folder has the different kind of dividers. I'll leave these here. Okay, those are going to go back as well. Now we can also switch out our washi tapes. Oh, there's going to be a lot of empty space this month. Nope, that's totally fine. Maybe I'll leave this in here if I want to add any sort of written embellishments. And let's put her back. So we've got the goals. My mini stickers here. Switch out my Tombow.
and my Klenna. I got used to having the cover of my book slipped in the front instead of the back. It just works better at the end of the year for me because this is where all the hump is. And here we have it, December setup, the last month in my Wonderland 222 for 2022. This is a wonderful planner. If you're using it next year, I hope that you enjoy it as much as I have. I do plan to do a flip through of the entire thing at some point, so keep an eye out for that if that's something that you'd like to see. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.